I always try, except for small instances, I always try to stick to the historical record because I know and I hope that the young people will read it and that they don't go away with um, any false impressions of what actually happened. So I usually try, usually try to stick to the historical record. I think I've managed to do that 95% of the time. Yes, I think it's very important. Through the novels, I hope, I'm not a historian, you see. I also try to write my books in a balanced way so that any child can read it and identify with it and not feel that, um, you know, it's anything to do with one side or another. I know historians have a perspective, but I, we need a Belizean historian who will give us a perspective that's, that they'll manage to, to control their, their beliefs and try to give us a, a good history of beliefs. When this book came out, uh, for one reason or another, it just fell with a thud, you know. <laughs> there was no, I mean, some people read it and liked it, and, but it wasn't, um, well, you know, I'll be truthful. I think in slavery in Belize is very hard to, to deal with. It was hard for me to deal with when I was reading it because I didn't know black people had slaves, so that was a great shock to me, you know. And we're inclined to think of slavery as um, one thing or another, whereas it was so many things that is emotionally overwhelming if you're trying to, to write about it. And so I can imagine that most people would not, um, you know, they would just prefer not to deal with it. I mean, why bother, you know? Because, but it's, if you want to know who we are and how we came to be living in this country and how it all happened and how it was in the settlement, it's good to, to read the history of these things. And my book is only a slice, as I told the student. Slavery was a, it was such a complicated thing that um, I only chose 1820, some years before and some years after, and dealt with that.